What's up, y'all? It's your boy, K that Alpha Nerd, and we in it. As y'all can see, I shaved my head. Not because, you know, I want to go with the shaved head look. I'm going to grow my hair back just because it's action in that, bro. It's action. It's manliness in, in taking action and doing something to drastically change, bro. Like, I'm going on a journey right now. You feel me? So that's pretty much the reason for that or whatever. But going ahead. um, Damn, she bad. Anyway, going ahead, um, yeah, so I got an email from one of Alpha Nerd Gang. You know who he is, one of my young guys. And I just want to read off, um, you know, the email and kind of go through it and tell him what he can improve and whatnot. So stick around to the end because you're going to learn something. And remember, like, comment, subscribe, leave y'all. Follow me on Instagram at Kaden and leave y'all messages in my inbox so I can, like, help you out. Anyway, he goes, there's this shorty I really liked. I took my time and got a number. The third time we met, which was back in January, we got to talking. That's before the whole quarantine shit. We were frequent. We were we texted and calls. We were frequent with texting and calling. She always called and we do the lengthy talk. The vibe was cool and all. Let me stop right there, bro. I'm going to stop right there because already I see sort of an issue in the email so for future reference something you never want to do is stay on the phone with a woman all day you don't want to be texting her back and forth all day you don't want to be doing stuff like that you don't even want to be on an hour call with a female you want to cut that completely this is what i mean by that bro this is what i mean you get a let's say you get a woman number for the first time right you want to call her you want to talk maybe 10 to 15 minutes just to get comfortable, get her comfortable with you. Then you want to make a date, get off the phone. Like, because you don't want to get trapped in the friend zone. You don't want to get trapped with a friendly vibe. Or you don't want to get her too comfortable with get it like with being on the phone with you for the simple fact is y'all gonna have a phone relationship. It's gonna become a phone relationship or a friendship, bro. That's how you get stuck into the friendship vibe. That's how you get. You fall into that vibe instead of giving her the space to wonder about you. Who is this guy for real? What is this about? Like, let's say I'm on the phone. I meet a girl. I get her number. I'm on the phone. And this is probably a girl he already knew. He didn't specify. But I get a girl number. I, I talk to her for 10 or 15 minutes. We set a date for three days later. I hang up. Click. You know what I mean? I don't talk to her. I specific date specific time specific place where we meeting so she know it ain't no it ain't no loose ends none of that you said all of that so i don't need to talk to her in between unless it's for canceling or rescheduling right so she gonna wonder about me the whole time in between those days bro she gonna wonder i'm gonna be mysterious now she's gonna be mysteriousness creates sexual attraction Otherwise, you're just going to get the friend vibe. You feel me? So you never want to, like, be on lengthy conversations with a woman. But let me finish. Um, Let me finish going. And I told him I was going to get into more detail about the email. You know what I mean? Because <clears throat> he says, then I got to ask her out early this month. And she was like, nah, we should be friends. See, that's what I mean right there. You talk to her on the phone for too long. Y'all texted back and forth for too long. Now she got no reason to go out on a date with you because she feels like she figured you out, bro. You know what I mean? But keep stick around because late in the email, something switch up. You know what I mean? He did a good job, but late in the email, something switch up. I gave her the response, which you advised me um, earlier. He talking about one of my earlier videos, uh, how to stay out the friend zone or how to get out the friend zone videos. Go check that out. Like, whenever she's down, she could hit me up because I ain't want to be friends. So I walked away. You know what I mean? That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to, when she not coming to your terms, when it's a unilateral decision on her end, bro, then you walk away. That's how you negotiate the best. You're not supposed to stick with other people's terms. It's about your terms. You want things on your terms. So he was like, but this shorty started pleading with me, begging me not to leave, started blowing up my line, asking me to be friends with her. I made it clear to her that I don't want that. Okay, so that's pretty much the end of the email or whatever. And he did the right thing by walking away. Now this woman blowing him up, reaching out, reaching out. Later on, I told him like, yo, she said, 
he 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 later went on to say she said she wanted to be really close friends. I asked him to ask her what she meant by really close. He said that he asked that and she meant by just friend stuff and she specified out loud that no sex would happen, right? No sex would happen. But she banging this line down, right? You banging my line down, but you telling me you want to be close friends, no sex will happen. Nah. See, she's testing you, bro. She testing if you really about what you say you about. Walk away, right? Until she want to come to the terms of your relationship. And don't ask her. Don't continue to ask her like, yo, uh, well, you ready to change the terms? Nah. You walk away. And if she keep banging your line down, you make a time and place when the quarantine over, obviously. You don't get on the phone with her. You ain't texting her. You ain't, you ain't calling her. Either you going to walk away and when she bang your line down again, you make time to see her like, hey, yo, once this quarantine over, can you come see me? You feel me? Can we? Because it's about to end soon, I think. Once this quarantine over, like, let's make some time to get together. Let's, you know what I mean? You don't even specify the whole friend thing because if she banging your line down, she know what you said. You said what you said, bro. You said that you don't just want to be friends or close friends. So you're not about to like adhere to her negotiations you go out on a date with her bro you invite her out for a date you make sure she knows it's a date yo let's go on a date after this whole quarantine thing and if she give you bullshit like if she give you bullshit like i told you i just want to be friends all right um hit my line if you change your mind boom and you gone you ghosted you fucking gone bro do you want to know why that is because you are not folding on what you said that you want bro you not folding on your terms. Either she going to fold or ain't nothing going to happen. You could like her as much as you want. He said something I loved, bro. I loved it. He said, I like her a lot, but I like myself more. That's the mindset you should have, bro. That's alpha nerd gang mindset, bro. That's the mindset you should have. Um, Continuing forward. The reason why this works so well is because now you standing strong. You and your masculine frame, your masculine energy, and she could feel that, bro. He messed up a little bit, right? He's doing a good job because he a young boy and he just learning this, bro. He doing a good job. By the time he get into his mid-20s, later 20s, he going to be, bro, strong with it. Like, good. Anyway, the point is, with this, later 20s, I meant. But the point is, with this... You want to become the guy who she fantasizes about, dreams about. And you can't do that if you talk it to her on the phone a lot. So that's what you messed up at. That's where you can improve. You don't need to be talking to these females on the phone. You need to be on your purpose. Talking to her for an hour, hour and a half, that does nothing, bro. You don't do that until you're already in a relationship with her. And you don't even do it a lot then, Right? You don't you don't text a woman back and forth. You may be saying if she texts you or you text her, you may be sending three or four texts back and forth. Four max texts back and forth before you're inviting her out on a date. Hey, how are you today? I'm good. Like I'm out here doing X, Y, Z. How are you today? She texts back whatever she texts back. Then you like, yo, you know what? How about we get drinks or get coffee or do this or do that on or when are you free to do that? She tell you when she either she gonna tell you when she free to do it, and you make a definite time and date, or she gonna bullshit you around, and that's when you just give her the same response, like, all right, let me know when you change your mind. Let me know if you change your mind. Boom, I gotta go. Talk to you later. Boom, that's it, bro. Cause then she get the idea, bro. If she wants you to be a part of her life, it's gonna be on your terms. Otherwise, she doesn't get the luxury of having you be a part of her life, bro. You can't have your cake and eat it too is what you basically telling her, bro. You can't have me in the terms that you want to have me. Because guess what? If you give her that, she ain't going to respect you. She ain't going to respect you. That's all for today, though. It's your boy, Kaden Alpha Nerd. We really in it, bro. So make sure if you're not subscribed, subscribe. If you ain't... um. Hit that noty bell. Hit that notification bell. We really in it, bro. We about to grow this thing. We about to we about to pop out. Um.
follow my Instagram at Kaden. Uh, DM me if you got questions. Comment below. Let me know what you thought of the video. We out.